What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the latest Liverpool transfer news video and today we have a lot of different players to discuss with you guys so let me know who is on your summer transfer wish list if you support Liverpool or any other club by the way let me know which club do you support and where are you watching from in the comments below and leave your transfer wish list for your favorite club as well which are the top five players that you want your club to sign and I will also reveal my transfer wish list in this video but the first and the biggest news is that Liverpool renew interest in Hull City's left back Andrew Robertson after you know other top targets looks like Liverpool are not, couldn't uh, you know get other top targets I think one of our top targets was Ryan Sassanion the Fulham left back who just signed a new three-year contract with Fulham so he stays at Fulham and that's understandable he's just a 17 year old kid and uh, Liverpool are in the market for the for a new left back and Klopp is uh, you know keen to move Alberto Moreno on but it looks like that Moreno doesn't really want to move uh, from Liverpool he's settled in Liverpool and even though he's not playing much I guess he's on big wages so he's not really eager to move from Liverpool and Liverpool really need to uh, you know find a buyer for Moreno sooner or later so we can replace him and it looks like that Liverpool instead of try trying to sign a really really good first choice left back to upgrade on James Milner it looks like that we are looking at young players to be backups for James Milner which I don't particularly agree with but if we you know want to go for Virgil van Dijk and Naby Keita and other like big players for big money maybe we don't have another like 30 million pounds to really sign an awesome left back and I don't really think that Liverpool needs to spend that amount of money to buy a quality left back. For example, Kolasinac went to Arsenal for absolutely nothing. He was a free transfer. Um, uh, Rodriguez, the Wolfsburg left back, went to AC Milan for something like 15 million pounds. And Liverpool, in my opinion, should, be, should have been in for him. Liverpool Echo claim, claim that uh, the Liverpool are lining up a um, bid for Andrew Robertson. Andy Robertson, who is 23 years old, he has been, you know, at Hull City and for and for the last two years Liverpool have been scouting him so if you can club thinks that he is good enough to play for Liverpool I trust him fully but I'm a, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by this news I, I will be honest guys another really really awesome target was uh, Benjamin Mendy the Monaco left back it looks like that he's nearing a move to Manchester City so Liverpool you know can't get him either and uh, the Scotland international Andrew Robertson is expected to leave Hull City this season because Hull got relegated and Andrew Robertson is maybe just a too good of a player to play in the championship but he wasn't that special for Hull City anytime I watched him of course it's really really hard to play for a team like Hull City who you don't have the best uh, teams in the world uh, to say the least so he actually gave some good performances after Marco Silva came in for Hull City they improved but not enough and they ultimately got relegated he made 115 appearances for Hull City and uh, he began began his career at Celtic so he played for a big club in his life uh, before and he was named the PFA Scotland Young Player of the Year in the 2013-14 season I just don't think that he's a good enough player to really really strengthen for Liverpool because what if Milner gets a long-term injury is Andrew Robertson really good enough to play week in week out in the Premier League and in the Champions League for a team who is trying to build a, a squad who can challenge the Premier League title who can challenge for the Champions League quarterfinals or the semi-finals but of course these videos are a discussion with you guys so I would love to hear your opinion do you think Andrew Robertson is actually good enough to play for Liverpool or Liverpool should sign another left back and if uh, if yes who who do you think should be Liverpool's new left back and I also wanted to tell you guys about uh, 15 players that could sign for Liverpool these are 15 players this is actually my wish list my, this is my baby top 15 and these have alternative players to you know the likes of Van Dijk or Naby Keita the first one is Leon Goretzka he's 21 years old he's a huge talent plays for the place for Schalke he's German inter international and uh, and he's one of the biggest talents in the Bundesliga so I think he would be a really really awesome signing maybe to replace Lucas in the midfield 
Nabi Keita, of course, we know all about him. I've made many, many videos about him. But another alternative to Nabi Keita could be Max Meyer, who is also a very, very talented uh, player. And he played for the German under-21 side. Uh, they knocked out the England under-21 side on penalties, which was a really, really unlucky defeat for England. But Germany, all in all, he they were a better team. And Max Meyer is uh, also a very versatile a player with huge huge potential he's only 21 years old or 20 years old and uh, he could become one of the best midfielders in the world if he if he keeps developing at the rate that he is doing so far so he certainly Jurgen Klopp could be could be the best manager to bring the best out of him but there are not many serious links uh, to him Julian Brandt He's another exciting player, He's, uh, he played well in the Confederations Cup every time he, he played so far for Germany and uh, you know Liverpool have been heavily linked with him. The problem is that in a World Cup year he really wants to get into the Germany international side and in order for, to do that he wants to play regular football so he decided to, ch to stay at Bayer Leverkusen and not pursue a transfer to Liverpool maybe next summer when the World Cup is over we could have uh, Julian Brandt at Liverpool but uh, he has, still has time on his hands he's only 20 years old another you know tra transfer and this is an absolute dream transfer is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang but it looks like Tom Aubameyang will move to TNG in a Kwanjan or something like that. I'm not sure what that name uh, should be pronounced. It's a Chinese team and they are paying closer to 75 million pounds for, for Obomayang. But what is even more ridiculous than that is that Obomayang will get, after tax, 26 million pounds per year, which is just uh, it's incomprehensible for a normal person to imagine uh, that kind of money and that kind of wages and uh, if Obameyang really goes to China it would be such a waste because China Chinese league is nowhere near the quality that Obameyang represents so he would play against uh, you know players who wouldn't couldn't even make uh, um, the maybe the championship side in England so it's like uh, maybe a second or third division in uh, in um, France. That's how good the Chinese teams are. Of course, they, every Chinese team has two or three superstars, but the rest are Chinese players. And we know that the China international team, international, you know, squad hasn't made the World Cup in forever. So, so I think it would be a big waste. But of course, money money talks. Kylian Mbappe, Jurgen Klopp, for some reason, really wants to be in the conversation. Uh, if Mbappe decides to move to the Premier League, uh, many people are saying that Jurgen Klopp will try everything to sign him. I don't think he is a priority for us, don't think we need him on, until we sell uh, storage and, uh, and maybe another striker. I don't think we need another striker, but it certainly excites the fans. And it's, it's going to be very interesting where Mbappé ends up. Alex Exeter Chamberlain is another player that is heavily linked with Liverpool, just like Virgil van Dijk. So I don't really want to talk a lot about these players because I already talked a lot about these players in previous videos. Fauzi Gulam, who is a 26-year-old left back, he, I think he would be a much better signing than Andrew Robertson, just like Jetro Willems, who we have been linked with last year. He is a Dutch left back plays for PSV Eindhoven and I think he would be a better you know alternative to Andrew Robertson but of course the scouts and Jurgen Klopp know a lot more about football than I do so I will trust their judgment on these players and we shall wait and see who which uh, left back we will bring in Alexander Lacazette who is heavily linked with Arsenal and Arsenal had a bid rejected for him I would love to see him at Liverpool but I understand that he's not a priority and I would actually Love to see more that Liverpool signed a um, left back, a centre midfielder, and a centre back. And then, if we have money left over, we can we can sign another striker. But I don't think we need another striker. Benjamin Mendy, I already mentioned him. Kalidou Koulibaly, who is a 25 year old Napoli centre back, he could be another like big big alternative to Virgil Van Dijk. And if the Van Dijk transfer doesn't come through. I think we could really seriously go for, for Koulibaly. 
Van Dijk could cost maybe even 70 million pounds, Koulibaly on the other hand could cost between 50 and 60 million pounds. I haven't watched enough of Napoli to really uh, judge Koulibaly how good of a player he is. If uh, he's have re really really highly rated in, ser in the Serie A and that's good enough for me. On the other hand, what could be a really a bargain transfer could be Pepe. I know he's very controversial, the Real Madrid player who is actually a free agent right now because uh, I think he, his contract ran out with Real Madrid. He's 34 years old and yes, he's, he's a little bit of a thug on the pitch if you like, a, a really a, kind of a dirty player. But he's a really, really good center back. He won the Euros with Portugal. He won absolutely everything with Real Madrid there is to win. And he's just a rock solid centre back and for one or two years to stay stabilise the, the Liverpool defence I think he would be a brilliant player. I'm not sure how much he would be suited to the Premier League but for absolutely nothing and just to pay his wages I think it's worth a try if we can't get Van Dijk in or if we can't get Koulibaly in. It would be a, a very interesting alternative. Riyad Mahrez, the Leicester City winger, is another player that I would love to see at Liverpool. He's 26 years old and he you know, stated that he wants to move on and play Champions League football. So that is very interesting quotes coming from Mahrez and he, when Leicester won the title, the season before last, he was electric, absolutely brilliant, loved him to loved to watch him every week and also last season he had flashes of brilliance so he's a little bit of an inconsistent player but I still think that he could improve uh, under Jurgen Klopp just like almost every player. So yeah, let me know what are your thoughts about these players and uh, do you think that uh, Liverpool will get any of them and if, if yes how many of them and who will Liverpool sign let me know in the comments below and also just to finish off the video Liverpool uh, Liverpool's veteran Lucas Leiva is again linked with the Turkish club this time this time it's Trabzonspor and I don't really want Lucas to go to Trabzonspor because they are a mid-table side in Turkey nothing special and Lucas deserves a bigger club in my opinion he deserves to play somebody like uh, maybe Sevilla or Valencia in Spain or if he goes to Turkey he deserves to play for Fenerbahce, Galatasaray or Besiktas, one of the big three teams or um, you know if he goes to Italy he should maybe play for AC or, or Inter Milan so that's the kind of clubs that Lucas should be targeting if he wants to move uh, from Liverpool just for playing time because I still think that Lucas can do a job at Liverpool but let me know what are your thoughts about all this in the comments below and thanks for watching, stay awesome, see you later, goodbye!